<laughs> you got on Hey, I'm gonna keep it a buck with all of you subs. Everybody not built like me. Oh my god. Everybody <laughs> isn't built like me. With that being said. B boy. right into it and we going in with a number two guard close with the grain wtg means with the grain meaning i'm cutting with his hair pattern the reason i'm cutting with his hair pattern specifically in this video is because he just came off of a 12 week wolf my cousin has never woofed before he literally started with no waves at all to 12 weeks and he's beehiving like uh, some people would say his progress should be better, but as I cut this hair, you guys can see him jump out, and they're going to pop out, and they're going to pronounce themselves very well, especially right here. One of my favorite clips, you can see the beehive effect. But I'm going with a number two clothes because he has a thicker grade of hair, but at the same time, I want to protect these waves. I don't want to cut it too low because it was his first wolf. So uh, he going to hop right back into a wolf session clean after this. But do you see the angle when I lift his head up? He beehiving like for the first wolf for 12 weeks. He coming with it. They got to get a little bit more pronounced everywhere else, but he coming with it. And as you guys see me lift the hair right there, I'm literally protecting that cowlick as well. He has a cowlick in the front of his lineup, and I don't want to cut that in the wrong direction because that would look very bad. Right here, I'm going in with my Andis Coilers T outliners customized by my boy the hair tailor he had did a tomb 45 inspired trimmer man and you're gonna see these things hit and i get the job done so i'm literally setting my first initial guideline on all parts of my head at the bottom towards the top of the ear or in terms of the taper on the sides and in the back i'm starting very low right here i go in with a one and a half guard on the wall senior coil is fully closed and i'm literally deep bulk in this area just so I can fade it because I know I cut his hair with a two so with this open I know this should blend right in and as you guys can see I'm going literally against the grain but I'm flicking at the same time and using the corner of my clipper so I don't take too much bulk as you guys can see I cut his hair with a two close this is a one and a half open they should go right into each other so I'm literally making my fade completely easier I'm, I'm, I've never been used to down fading but once I did it on this specific client I love the whole feeling of down fading so right here I just go in with my clippers fully closed and I'm going up maybe a half an inch just so I can go ahead and create myself some room to be able to face. And I go up another half an inch with my clippers fully open. And that's my blade fully open. I, and I drop it down halfway right here and I fade in between the two lines. And as you guys can see, I'm really using the corner of that blade. I'm not just really laying it flat as much. I'm literally tip topping literally from the left and the right side and I'm staying very consistent and that's how you guys get these tapers to really look how y'all want them right here this is a 116th guard on my Andes Masters and I go in fully open about another half of an inch right under the indent that my client has in his head because it's going to play a part of this fade which I which a lot of people don't understand sometimes they don't know how to deal with indentations or um demarcations in the head and you just got to go around them or you got to use them to your advantage and in this video everything fell into place perfectly man so i really can't wait for you guys to see the ending of this as you guys see the fade is coming together very 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 well like everything is laying down and another thing about this video if you guys are watching me spin him and the way i'm cutting him in the way that this video is recorded this is the first video of me recording myself there's a lot of clips in this video that i personally don't like but i gotta give you guys content and i have you know no excuse but to give you guys content so blurry or not the content will get better over time because i'm learning how to shoot myself from different angles but for the time being if you guys could just bear with me this content will keep flowing we back in the shop everything is lined up perfectly uh i literally got my tripod on my station so i'm almost recording every haircut that i do i got a nice amount in the chamber right now so we finna have fun it's like mardi gras we finna get busy today 
So uh, I definitely want y'all to just go on ahead, man, and just keep supporting your boy. Click that notification bell so you guys can get alerted when every video comes out. Because I'm telling y'all, we're not slowing down for nobody. Right here, I go in with my Andes Masters fully open. I'm giving myself a half an inch just so I can fade this area out. When I was talking about me recording myself earlier, this is some of the clips that I didn't like. I was going to make this a strictly hairline video, but this was a 12-week wolf, man. Like, even if the clips is a little blurry or not, I got to get them in there because the camera will come back to focus soon. I just need to probably put my camera a little bit closer. I'm shooting with a 35 millimeter f1.8 and it shoots wide so I probably need a 50 or I need to just get up a little closer but you know no excuses we're gonna get it done right here I go in with my one and a half guard and that's fully closed the same way I did in the back just to create myself the room to be able to finish my taper in a small rim without pushing it too high and turning a regular taper into a ball taper this is how you guys stay in those specific guidelines right here and I just take my clipper off and I'm literally fading with the corners of my blade and I'm flicking my wrist and I'm not applying a lot of pressure on the actual head. I'm not digging into no one's head. I'm flicking and keeping my hand light so it's like a feathering effect, really. And right here, I'm literally in there with my one eighth guard and you're going to see me close it notch by notch just to get the hair to lay down a little bit better for me. I just get right behind the ear because that darkness behind the ear sometimes can throw your taper off but as you guys can see the taper is beautiful waves are beautiful I just go in with some moose now this is one of my personal favorites right here I go in with moose with somebody with heavy waves or really thick hair with dark haircuts when that hair doesn't stick or lay down and with me going in and using this moose it gives me the time to lay this hair down correctly and everything that's going to stand up or, or isn't laid down will lay down so you do mousse you blow dry it and then you do exactly what i'm doing now which is freehanding over the top of the haircut knocking all of the frizzy hairs roach legs whatever you want to call them knocking them completely off the haircut this right here is what gives your haircut the cleanliness this right here is what gives your haircut the shape is what really gives it that smooth uh look so i go in with my andis t outliners man and i just get busy these are tapping goers like in that comment section please drop hitters because y'all finna see exactly why i call these hitters not they literally one punches right here they doing everything that they need to do everything is real consistent the taper is looking beautiful the arc around the ear is looking beautiful the line is there i'm locked in we focus we strapped like we we in the game right now and i'm i'm charged up on this video because i'm literally shooting myself and it's like certain clips that really make me appreciate this video like look at this clip sheesh it's stuff and we just get to go and have fun now and right here i'm literally drawing on the canvas there's no right way there's no wrong way to do this this video specifically i did with my own flavor and me just having fun and this just being someone hair that i've been cutting for so long i just know exactly what to do on this lineup so i really like coming from the bottom and this is the art of the chicago sea i come from the bottom and i literally pronounce my curve from the bottom of the lineup no indentations on the front i literally start from the bottom and my way all the way up to get that perfect c i honestly feel like i'm drawing that way and that's just how i learned the art of the chicago c this is why my city this is why a lot of people in my city pronounce those c's this is why my haircuts look the way that they look sometimes it's a demographic thing sometimes it's not always just you or uh, people who just influence you sometimes it's just demographic and in this specific case like i know a lot of people a lot of barbers from chicago who approach their haircuts and lineups exactly like me but i want y'all to look at this this lining is everything with or without color enhancement this lining is money like it's pure money and i like to just go in and i like to keep everything real consistent but as you guys can see i'm doing light taps nothing very pronounced because i still haven't got the line in straight but i got a slight rough draft of what i want to do as you guys can see there's i'm not pressing i'm literally tapping and letting the trimmers do all the work that they need to do and this is one of my favorite clips as well because i was stretching over 
so I can get this shot done without being in the way of the shot. So I came into my C with my curve a little iffy. But you guys watch me detail and get this curve down pack. And that is the beauty of barbering to me. I love working with pieces that are nothing from the beginning and create them into something. That's what I signed up for. That's what keeps me going in the game. But there's people out there like this who's never been able to achieve real crispy lineups because people don't know how to approach them. They don't know how far to stretch them out. They don't know if they should stretch them out or not. When you consult with your client, do what's best for you and what's best for your client at the same time. The reason I can accommodate and do that well for this client because I personally know him and I've been cutting him for a long time. He had a lot of bad haircuts for me. He had a lot of amazing haircuts for me. And this is one of those amazing ones, man. And I'm just very proud of this video and what we were able to do. And I'm really proud of him that he was able to sit through 12 weeks of woofing. I think that's very dope. Like the hard work, you see it in this hair in this video. And with these Lanas, man, I can't give more credit to um, to nobody but Hair Taylor, man. I think this was a dope setup how he did these Lanas, man. So we just go in with the straight razor and we literally stretch the skin and slowly but surely glide the razor back without scraping it. And this is how you achieve those real crispy lineups. Like a lot of people have hard times achieving crispy lineups and it's not so much pressure you apply. It's literally the hairs, it's you being careful, it's detail work, it's making sure all lines are very consistent. And as you guys can see, this is the art of a crispy lineup, the art of the Chicago C. I want to do a whole series called the art of the Chicago C and just really give out different C cups on different haircuts just so you guys can see how the curves uh, will come out and will look. But this is the ending result of how to cut somebody at the end of a 12 week woofing session, man. I'm so glad I was able to bring this video to you guys. We got plenty of other bangers on the way, so please be on the watch out. I want to say thanks for watching if you're new to my channel please subscribe to it and if you like and share and comment that'd be greatly appreciated and may god bless